this out. Um, this is something that you've worked on and you've yeah. gone at your own pace. I was just saying to your mum, who's a blonde now as well, it took me a minute <laughs> to register it with her, um, that you guys have worked your asses off, but you've done it at a pace you wanted to do it at and right. it's connected without having to compromise, change anything. How does that feel? I mean, that that's probably one of the best feelings ever because I think a lot of people look at you know this industry and kind of just assume that you have to be a certain way to have made it mm -hmm. where you are and I I've always just I mean you can hear in my album what I'm saying on the album it's like I've always wanted to be that that you know I don't want to say role model because that's such a like a big mm. word but I guess just that person that maybe young girls could look up to and think you know oh, maybe I don't have to you know, act a certain way to be successful or I can be modest and, and it can still work or I can sing about what I'm feeling and not, you know, a typical um, pop song. Or just just get people to think a little bit outside no, the I box. No, I think that, that's a really important thing that you've done because like, obviously you're hot. Like you could very easily be <laughs> like wearing some banging little shorts a crop. Not that I'm saying that you, there's anything wrong with doing that. But well, it's sometimes, no, but let's be real. But sometimes it is kind of nice. But it's nice. so cold too. Yeah, it is cold. Like, <laughs> Hashtag Max Ask Tory. Oh, cool. Okay. Got loads of questions for you. Um, so let's go through some of them. Hey, Liz. Liz says, what's one thing on your bucket list you hope to do before the end of 2015? Oh, I only have till the end of this year mm, to do stuff. Yeah. Man. Um, <laughs> she says one thing at least on your list. Wow. Uh, I feel like, man, I mean, this is really reaching like really reaching and I wouldn't be mad if it was if it was not so this so year <laughs> but I really would love to be um, on SNL at some really? point like that's a that's a dream of mine for that's sure that's gonna happen for sure right I hope so it has to that happen that would be really cool I think well Edwards hello Edwards he says, I also want to go skydiving but not this year <laughs> not this year <laughs> Edwards says what was your inspiration to write Nobody Love inspiration for Nobody Love was was kind of a a different um, song structure than I'm used to because I'll usually walk in to a session with the idea already or the concept or hey this is what I'm going through and with this song I was um, I, I had just started working with Max Martin who ended up executive producing the album and they already had the hook in place so I was like okay it's like really catchy obviously but I I, I always try to put some sort of um, spin on it just to make it a little bit deeper instead of just nobody love, nobody love like you do. I was like, cool, that's cool. And so I just started thinking, you know, what if I kind of talked about how everybody's always searching for that type of love that's, but they look for it in the wrong things and they don't know what it's like to have that love that's just, that's, you know, will never leave you, never like, it's just grounded and it always stays the same. And I just wanted to kind of put a, a twist on a typical love song. That's Brooklyn says, um, Tori, do you have any pre-show rituals? Um, yeah, this is true. Like Sam Henshaw, who's supporting you, has yeah. that thing he's that amazing. you want now. Yeah. yeah, he's amazing. That pipe that yeah. looks dodgy, but actually isn't dodgy. Yeah. Um, and it's you just steam. Yeah, it's just steam. There's nothing dodgy <laughs> in there. Do you have anything weird or anything that you like to do? Americans like to pray a lot. I, do, sorry, I don't mean that in a negative Amer way. <laughs> but I remember being here with Big Sean and he made us all yeah. stand in the circle and everyone did a prayer. It was really sweet, though. It was really lovely. I mean, well, I do. I, that's definitely something I do before yeah. every show I get the the group together I didn't know it was an American thing but yeah. but I, mean, um, I don't but see <laughs> I haven't yet experienced British artists doing but maybe they do I'm sure there's some yeah. yeah but um but no I get the whole family and the team together we do a, a prayer before every show but I, I don't know if I have anything like anything weird <laughs> Maria says, did you finally learn how to whistle? Is that something you've been wanting uh, to do? <laughs> I never learned. That's really... Well, you can't whistle at all. me out. No, I can't. I just never learned how. 
Let's hear it. I don't know how to do it. Oh, come on. I'm we Try. Blow it. <laughs> Wait, let me try. Mine is so bad. <laughs> She's yeah. literally like okay. pouting. All right, cheat, <laughs> cheat, cheat. <laughs> <laughs> But you but, can approach me. Oh, okay. I'm chill. So you've got permission. She's like, you can approach me. <laughs> so, I'm chill. Um, yeah. what, what what do you find attractive? Like, what's cute to you? Um, definitely has to love Jesus. Because okay. I love Jesus. Okay. And put God first. And um, I like guys who have good personalities and aren't aren't afraid to just kind of be on their own and talk to people and kind of have their own lives. Do you mind if they're in the same game as you? Like, you know, if they're also a musician, does that... Do you worry um, about I think it goes or? it goes back to the to you know if we have the connection then it's it is what it is so I don't think it matters but and is there yeah. a turn off is there something that would just be like hell <laughs> no it's like something that you just don't like oh I don't know it's a good turn off probably coming on too strong is is a turn off I but feel like is that a turn off for for every for every girl though like just I too think much depends. to be fair when is the guy you like yeah it's cool but when it's guys you don't like you're like yeah, it depends. it depends. And does your mum like? Does she get approval? Like, because <laughs> like I can imagine any guy that does get to go out with you, like, you got to go through Tori's mum, right? Um, I mean, <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. Well, both both of my parents, I I care a lot about their opinions okay. actually, because I just I cherish them and cherish what they think. What, so dad as well. So the people yeah. have to meet mum and dad before. It's, yeah, it's more, but it's more on mine. Like I would be devastated if I brought someone around and they just they were like, nah. Have they ever sported for you? Have you liked somebody and they've been like, Tori, no. No, no, because they, they they trust me enough. But I could I could tell if it's like <laughs> if they're not feeling it or not. Hey, listen! Always an absolute pleasure to see you. Congratulations yeah. with everything. Thank you. Um, album's out always right now. Always making me do weird things. No, but you're brilliant at weird <laughs> things. This is why I love doing it with oh, you. Um, album is out right now. Um, for everybody that's like gone, got behind you, supported you over the last couple of years and stuff, is there anything you'd like to say to them? Absolutely. I want to say thank you first of all, and um, I don't think I'll really be able to express like how much gratitude I have towards you guys. Um, even even just the new the new fans who are just now discovering uh, the music and to the ones who have just been there from the beginning, I love you guys all so much. And I wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for you guys out there right now in that uh, in that venue. Yeah, congratulations yeah. with the Pepsi ad as well. That oh, must thanks. have been fun. So fun. And people have Beyonce and all these people have done it's it before. Crazy. It's amazing, it's, right? Yeah, 15 years they haven't done that jingle. Britney was the last one to do it. Isn't She's it? like insane. Also, um, Fashion Week. How was Paris Fashion Week? I liked all the gear. You were you oh, thank you. Amazing. Thank you. It was uh, it was the quickest trip of my life. I was literally in Paris for 20 hours, and um, and just yeah, it was like in and out. It was crazy. Did you get the bug though? Like because you sit front row, you look at all this mm -hmm. these clothes going past you. Does it was it, pretty did, cool. Did you enjoy it? I did enjoy it. Yeah, it's so fast. It's only like mm -hmm. seven minutes, and then it's over. But no, it was it was really cool. And and I liked how I think for the first time at that show, I I saw it as art rather than just like girls walking by in clothes. I really was like inspired mm -hmm. by the whole show. Is there any like couple of tips you could give like as far as you, your skin always looks amazing you take care of your hair right. um, any tips you'd give to the girls uh, tips as far as hair go <laughs> as I'm pulling hair out of my <laughs> mouth uh, if you have curly hair I would just say to rock the curls and figure out different products that you like um, I was tempted for years just to straighten it and wear it up and not ever wear it down and embrace it so the the diffuser became my best friend um, and what else? I really love this brand called We Dad, and then another one called Love Your Mane. No, Free Your Mane. Sorry, Free, free Your Mane. Free Your Mane. I like the yes. name. Yes. 
and they just have they have really good stuff they even have like stuff for your skin and like oils Amazing. and all this stuff so and um, skin yeah. quickly last thing so you can go chill before you go on stage <laughs> any like little little beauty secrets that no one knows that you have is your little no, no. thing <laughs> I don't know if I have if I have like crazy top secrets I know I love I just love like eyebrows and simple things. I'm I'm trying to get it to where I can just wear tinted moisturizer too, as like on a day to day. I mean, for show days, I'll put a little bit more makeup, but like ideally, um, I'm into just like fresh face. I would just want to encourage girls to wear like as little as possible. <laughs> if you look like her, absolutely. No, uh, <laughs> no it's no. nice to hear you say if that. If you look like you, <laughs> everyone looks at like these contoured faces on Instagram. Yeah, and we yeah. all want to have those faces with the. Yeah. But it's hours of work, guys. It's too much. It is.